I have a question. Your last mission in 2022 uh, was with, you know, after the Russian invasion of Ukraine happened. I was wondering how your daily work has changed after the invasion, you know, seeing that you work with Russians basically on, you know, every mission that you do. Thank you. Yes, so uh, it was definitely uh, sometimes a little bit of an elephant in the room, uh, the fact that there was this uh, dramatic conflict uh, going on on, uh, on the surface of the planet. Um, but we had a mission to accomplish together, and uh, we also had, on a personal level, a strong bond of friendship um, among ourselves. So I think we were uh, able to, to focus not on the things that would become a source of conflict on board as well, but rather to focus on, on our mission and uh, or our shared objectives and our shared values uh, and, uh, and, uh, and continue successfully to work together. I would like you to ask, what is the biggest mystery of the universe for you? What fascinates you the most? <laughs> That is an, an interesting question I've never asked myself, I have to be honest. <laughs> um, but if I uh, try to bound it um, a, a little bit to what uh, um, is relevant for our work uh, at, at ESA and in space exploration, I think that one of the great questions that we have is whether there is life somewhere else in the solar system. Uh, and so I'm, I'm very... Uh, excited about uh, the current and the future uh, mission on Mars. Both of our uh, robotic friends that are already exploring Mars and we will have a European rover uh, in the near future as well. And then who knows, maybe uh, in the future even uh, human explorers. Uh, it would be really interesting to see whether there is now or there has been in the past some form of life uh, on Mars. In the 80s, when Na NASA was preparing the first woman to go to space, they asked if 100 tampons were um, enough for a week. What has changed for women in space and what message do you want to send to young girls who have the same dream as you had? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, sometimes I find it a little bit of a pity that you know, we take those anecdotes uh, that are almost half a century old and we like continue to repeat them because I, I think we really convey the wrong message. <laughs> I mean, we run the risk of uh, transmitting the, the impression that women in space are something so uh, strange and so unexpected that bizarre questions like that would come up. And uh, I don't even know if it's true that it really happened, but if it did, it was almost half a century ago. Uh, so I would uh, certainly convey the message to both boys and girls out there that you know, space is, is a workplace like, like anywhere else and, uh, and we walk all together <laughs> without uh, um, anxieties or um, uh, excessive, uh, you know, um, how should I say, that there's nothing strange about uh, having women in space. It's like a workplace like any other workplace where men and women work together. What would be your message uh, for young girls who also <laughs> want to become astronaut like you? And would you like to become the first woman on the moon? Yeah, so I, I, I am a little bit hesitant with these uh, recommendations to young girls because to me it makes it sound like girls need special advice or you know they have special burdens or special difficulties. Now I think that the news is girls and boys are all young human beings. <laughs> Uh, they're all different. I mean, and they're all unique. They all have uh, are going to have their interests and their challenges. And so, you know, I, I think that for both boys and girls, if they are interested in space, then the path is always the same. Go ahead, find a, uh, an education that, that fits, that will allow you to work in the space industry. There's the obvious ones, you know, physics, engineering, some kind of STEM career. Um, but we also have more and more colleagues who come from the humanities and still find their path uh, into the, the space industry. So that's really just a suggestion, find your path. And you want to be the first woman on the moon? I certainly will not be. I'm pretty sure that the, uh, unfortunately, the first woman on the moon is not going to be a European. It's uh, most likely going to be a, a, a US woman. So the, the question is a little bit abstract. Um, and so I'm not sure how to answer it. <laughs>